Another big story tonight, a major traffic nightmare now clearing up on the downtown connect connector. It has been quite the nightmare. A semi hauling hazardous material overturned this afternoon on the interstate near Langford Parkway. And as you can see from the Sky Fox 5 video shot a little earlier today, the crash left traffic snarled with cars lined up for miles. Fox 5's Portia Bruner joins us now live from the scene. Yeah, I can tell you the good news in all of this, though, none of the three people involved in that crash, including the trucker driver or the two cars that were hit, were injured. The bad news, though, as you mentioned, traffic was backed up for hours, though. But take a look now. Just within the last 45 minutes or so, traffic has opened up and is now moving smoothly. The backup stretched for miles along both sides of the connector as Atlanta firefighters and hazmat specialists cleaned up 40 gallons of sulfate aluminate, a corrosive chemical liquid that spilled from this tanker Friday afternoon. An Atlanta fire captain says the tanker, owned by New Jersey based General Chemical, was hauling 4,400 gallons of the chemical when it ran into a car in the northbound lanes just south of Lankford Parkway. It happened around 1.15. The fire captain says the tanker driver overcorrected, then hit another vehicle, causing the tank to overturn. The northbound lanes were shut down for three hours as crews hustled to contain the spill and clean up debris from the wreck. Authorities say no one was injured in the crash or in the spill that followed, but hazmat crews took extra precautions just to be on the safe side. Taking a live look now, I can tell you it was about three hours where the traffic was at a standstill. So these folks moving through now, happy to be moving through smoothly, especially those headed up to Turner Field for the game. We have tried to reach out to General Chemical, and they're based in New Jersey. Our calls have not been returned, but we do know they manufacture, according to their website, a broad line of organic and inorganic chemicals for a variety of industries, especially water treatment plants. Still no word yet on where the driver of that. That tanker is going to be charged. We're reporting live along the downtown connector. Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Yeah, back up like that makes for a long afternoon. All right, glad yes, things, things are cleared up. Thanks, Portia. Doug. Well, listen, you've seen what the accident caused on the downtown connector. What a mess there. But now we get the unique perspective of a few people who were stuck in the backup. Let's take a look at a photograph that was sent in to us by one of our producers, a web producer, Steve Dixon. Now, he lives on the south side of town. I recognize this picture instantly because I live not far from Steve. This is the southbound lanes of the downtown connector. Uh, the northbound lanes, that's where the accident happened right in there. This is what Steve saw for hours as he looked through his uh, front windshield. Langford Parkway crosses his viewpoint right there. Stuck on the downtown connector for so long today. What was that like? We learned from a Facebook post on our Facebook page. This from Kelly Estelle. She says, this is terrible. I'm sitting in it right now. So bad to the point. I'm sitting on the side. I can't move right now. It's burned up all my gas I had in my truck. Uh, she says, if I wanted to move, I'd have to wait until it all clears up completely now. And that's the perspective of some of the people that were stuck in it. What a frustrating <laughs> afternoon for all of these thousands of people. Yeah, Lisa? a lot of people banging on their steering wheels, I can imagine. All right. <laughs>